Hi everyone, this is Christine and welcome to my vlog channel, The Maple Diaries. So I receive a lot of comments and suggestions asking me to create a video about um, the comparison of life between Canada or Dubai. So first and foremost, a little background of myself. I came from Dubai, moved here in Canada with my husband and my daughter. And we're going now on our second year by July. So we survived the first year, which is amazing. But there's a couple of adjustments really. To be honest, it wasn't really such an easy transition. But after a year, it everything is already amazing. And I'm gonna give you now the comparisons. First is I want to talk about the weather, the extreme difference between the two countries. So I lived in Dubai and in Abu Dhabi in the UAE. So um, both countries, I would say for Dubai and Canada have uh, two different extreme weather. So in Dubai and the UAE, our weather is really like really, really scorching hot. The summer is really, really humid with temperatures rising to 45 degrees Celsius during summer. Would you believe that? As hot as that. But the cool thing about it is that because most of the establishments and buildings, even our house is built with air conditioner. So it was really good that you just really experience the kind of humid when you're outside. For me, it was it wasn't that easy to live by, but then again, since, since I came originally from Philippines and it was like a tropical country for me, um, you know, summer is a lot. I find it more um, enjoyable. Well, in terms of Canada, Canada, it has truly four seasons. As I've already mentioned from one of my vlogs before, my first year of living here in Canada, you can just check out the video on the top of the screen. You can click that link. That would be a very good start uh, to understand what is life here in Canada for your first year. Canada, it has four seasons. We have the, the, the winter, we have the spring, we have the summer, we have the fall. So it's perfectly beautiful because I, I haven't experienced autumn. For me, the, out of four seasons, autumn is the best one because it's so colorful. But again, it's kind of a bit depressing because after autumn, it's gonna be the cold weather, which is the winter. So winter can be long and bitterly cold. So I'm based here in Ottawa specifically, and the chilliest winter reaches to minus 20 Celsius. So that was really harsh. So for me, I find it long. It was quite difficult for me because I'm not used with that kind of weather. Life has to move forward. You have to go to work. You have to send your kids to school. So you still do the normal routine. But then again, if each time you go out, then we have to put a lot of layering just to survive the cold winter. On the other hand, Canadians are very good in enjoying their kind of weather. So there are a lot of outdoor activities to be done during the winter. So I think on my first year, I was a bit hesitant because I'm not used with the cold. But then again, now reaching on the second year, I can somehow already appreciate the beauty of winter. It's really picturesque and it was really like feeling of Christmas during winter is really the perfect one. If I'm going to be choosing over the two countries, two countries or UAE or Dubai or Canada, I would put my vote in um, in Dubai, maybe because it's my preference. I am not really a, a winter person. Second factor to this to consider before you, if you want to compare Dubai between Canada is the financial aspect. Hmm. A lot of people were so confused about the financial aspect. Well, Dubai is a tax free country within 10 years that i stayed in dubai or in the uae i never paid any other type of taxes that means when i get my salary i get my salary in full so it was easier to save money it's a lot more enjoyable to do your shopping or you dine out because you don't pay taxes at all right um but then again here in canada one of the well, the things that they really impose are taxes. You get your salary or your pay with income tax and you otherwise also pay other kind of taxes. However, maybe that's going to be the downside because you're, if you're coming from Dubai, it feels like you have a higher package. Your salary is really good. But then again, when you come here, it feels like your salary got lower because of the taxes. But on a positive note, the reason why we have huge taxes here in Canada is because we enjoy the benefit of the universal health care. We do enjoy sending our kids to public education. And 
yeah so in short the taxes that we pay here all of the citizens and all of the residents here really enjoy the perks of paying the taxes so for me it's not really a bad deal um, probably on my first year here it was a kind of 50 50 because it's so difficult to budget um, to budget your salary goes along with your home expenses and now I truly understand in my second year that hey paying taxes is not that bad I gain the the benefit and I see my child gets a, a very good education and each time we get sick we just go to the hospital or see a doctor and we don't have to pay anything from our pocket so now the pointing system for the financial aspect between Dubai and Canada I think I go for Canada maybe because now I'm thinking of the long term and like this is now my home so for me paying taxes is okay because Canada gives you a better life Dubai is good but I think it's for short term if you want to save a lot of money and if you're just a single then go ahead you stay in Dubai and earn a lot of money and then save so the third factor to consider in comparing living in Canada versus Dubai is the employment package or salary as I mentioned previously Dubai is you get your salary in full amount it's non taxable um, the other uh, benefits you get as an employee in the UAE is that you're entitled to 30 days paid vacation do you heard me right yeah that's 30 days and it's paid and you also have a health insurance is also provided because it's mandatory accommodation allowance which is also really fascinating is that most companies give you an accommodation allowance as part of your package so in our experience before my husband works in the hotel so one of the perks is that we are living at the hotel if you're luckier if your organization is huge and they will give you an additional educational allowance as well which is you can send your kids to school and the company will be just paying for it so that's what we had but when we were there my daughter is just like she was just like three years old so we were not able to use that benefit so here in Canada the number of uh, paid vacation leave is just almost half of the one in Dubai we only get 15 days of paid vacation leave and 15 days of paid sick leave so personally 15 days of vacation leave it's I find it a bit short maybe because I got used to the 30 days which is really amazing medical insurance is with dental insurance is also provided in our company so that depends on wh which company you are working in but in my case and my husband's case we do receive a medical insurance with dental benefits so basically that's it we don't get any accommodation allowance we don't get those kind of stuff or uh, the ones that we have back in Dubai so that's why here out of your salary you pay for your house rent or mortgage you pay for your for your insurance if you're you pay for your, your dental insurance if your company doesn't provide you if I'm gonna choose between the employment package and salary between Dubai and Canada um, I will be going for Dubai moving forward is stability so how we define stability stability meaning like how can you live in one country with a good quality of life stability in terms of uh, in the UAE is a bit difficult meaning it's because not because you have a big salary that means you're so stable we only get the chance to stay in the UAE it's because we have a job but once you lose a job then that's it you have to go back home for us in Canada it, it's a different kind of story stability is really good in my case we arrive here as permanent residents uh, so as a permanent resident you also receive the same benefits as the same as Canadian citizens uh, the only difference is the Canadian citizens they have the right to um, exercise their their vote during election and with permanent resident we're not allowed to attend any election yet but otherwise most of the benefits that they have we also receive such as the education the universal health care and we are here for permanent residency which means after three years uh, we can already apply for Canadian citizenship and we receive our Canadian passport which is gonna be amazing because it's one of the most powerful passports uh, in the world and I think stability wise of course no question at all my vote goes to Canada
Now we go to the another factor, which is the education. So in Dubai, as I've said earlier, it's a bit difficult or tricky. If you have a very good employer, then you're good, you're safe. You can send your kid to a very good school. But in Canada, because of the taxes that we pay for the government, you don't have to pay any tuition fee here. So from junior kindergarten to high school, you don't pay any tuition fee at all. So right now, my daughter, just um, she's already four years old and she's now going to junior kindergarten and we don't pay anything. Education is really, really good here. The quality of education is really one of the best. You have the option to have your child learn um, a French and English. My daughter goes to a French Catholic school. My daughter now at only four years old, she can speak English and French. So moving on is the healthcare system. So the one thing that I really like the best in Dubai, it's because when you have the health card, you have plenty of options, plenty of options to which hospital you wanna go, any specialist or doctor you want to see if i have a child i can see a pediatrician and just make an appointment and booking accordingly to my schedule however when you move here in canada maybe because it's a free universal healthcare system that means it has a longer queue meaning there's a longer waiting period so if you want to see a doctor today you can't do it unless it's emergency but if you wanted to see your own doctor it's not gonna happen you have to wait for weeks or even months one of the um, struggle we had here when we moved here it took us six months before seeing a doctor before having a doctor because here in Canada you have to have a family doctor however if you want to do and see a specialist for example if I want to see an ob then I have to ask my family doctor to refer me to an ob like for example with my daughter I used to have pediatrician back in the Philippines, in Dubai, but here they don't give you pediatrician unless your child receives a special treatment. So if your child is healthy and good, then you should just see a family doctor. But if I'm gonna put a score, my vote will go to Dubai. Maybe because I like the feeling of not waiting for for quite long and I like the feeling of seeing my specialist if I wanted to see one. So next is the social aspects. Social issues will purely depend uh, based on your preference. So the UAE being a Muslim country um, is more conservative than Canada obviously. So I think if you came from a very conservative country probably you will be enjoying staying in the Dubai or UAE. Well in Canada it's known for diversity so people here are really free to express themselves and uh, racial discrimination is unacceptable and uh, people here like can really enjoy any kind of religion and uh, without any restrictions and the only thing because it's so open-minded um, i think canada is the only few countries who had legalized selling of cannabis in a form of recreational and medicinal purposes so for me if i'm gonna say in terms of adjustment i think i go for canada i i like the i like the diversity i like the openness um it's not that conservative and you're free to choose how you live your life without any judgment at all here people are equally um, treated um, I can say that here in Canada it's like you won't really be able to identify who are the wealthy ones and who are just the average ones so which is really good equality is really a very good um, advantage of being and living here in Canada. Another one is the quality of life. So I would say Dubai and Canada, they have very good quality of life. For the fourth year now, Canada is ranked as the top country to live in when it comes to quality of life. Um, one of the winning scores were based on the healthcare, the public education, um, the solid job market and uh, it's being said that that's why you get to balance everything here in Canada well while in Dubai or in the UAE uh, we're, we're ranked as the highest um, Arab world country in the Gulf region so because in terms of infrastructure and um, and in terms of the overall quality of life they it's a very good option if you want to go to any Gulf country I would always 
tell people the best place to be is in, a, in, in the UAE. The last comparison, the, let's define it as the long-term growth. Is this like uh, the, the country that you would like to settle in forever? Well, as we all know, Dubai or in the UAE, there's no such thing as forever in that country. It's because you were only, um, you were only allowed to stay there because you have a job. You, in terms of having a family and staying there for long term, that means it's not really the, the best option to have. It's because they don't even provide citizenship for, for you know, for residents there. So I think uh, the one that really that really wins it all is Canada. It's because the diversity, the religion, the security, the sense of um, of safety would always be in Canada. So I think um, this stops the score for Canada. So in my own experience, it would be winning my heart would be Canada, not Dubai at all. So it's up to you guys how you see things in life and you both, the, you both get the pros and cons of living in both countries. So I'm just here to give you a, a reference point for you to decide if you want to move to Canada and stay here for good or you just better just stay in Dubai and just save a lot of money and you just end up going back to your home country um, in the future. So I hope guys you really enjoy my feature today with my vlog. Please make sure to like and subscribe my channel. See you guys!